Hello everybody and welcome back to our Florida Panthers franchise here on NHL 18. My name is JT Plays and today we are covering the month of March, albeit the same really as the first five, six months of the season. So in March, we started with the New Jersey Devils, lost 4-1. Continued a losing streak of, I believe, seven games in February. So from the Washington game on the 22nd, Washington, Pittsburgh, Toronto, New Jersey, Buffalo, Philadelphia, Tampa Bay, Montreal. That's eight games. So eight game losing streak ending into March. Ending on March 10th, we beat the Rangers 6-3. And then it was another losing streak. Starts with Ottawa and ends with Ottawa. So a little four-game skid. Back-to-back -back wins for the Panthers. And we're on March 24th. Taking on the Coyotes next time out. But the season only ends April 7th. So guess what? We only have seven, eight games left. Maybe nine, ten at the most. Uh, Tampa? Or not Tampa Bay. Florida 16-51-6, obviously different than what it is in real life right now. Uh, Florida's fighting for a playoff spot in real life, but um, you know, uh, the guys obviously with all the trades in this year and the guys just morale being everywhere and the ownership being where it is and the fan base, just not a good year obviously, and the record uh, just goes beyond showing that so uh today we'll take a look at standings we'll take a look at playoff pushes uh we'll get predictions and uh we will go from there so we'll start in the nhl and we will start with the atlantic tampa bay has clinched a spot and the montreal canadians have clinched a spot Toronto Buffalo are ahead of Montreal. We'll see what they can do. They, uh, they'll probably be in, though. In the Metropolitan, Washington clinched the Metropolitan title. Pittsburgh, Carolina also get a spot in the playoffs. Philadelphia, 91 points. The Eagles win the Super Bowl. Maybe the Flyers win the Stanley Cup. In the Central, Nashville wins the Central here so far. And they're probably going to. Uh, 11 games over St. Louis. Chicago is in as well. In the Pacific, Edmonton, Calgary. Or just Calgary, sorry. No Edmonton, even though they would probably get in. But uh, in the entire East here, your uh, top eight. Washington, Tampa Bay, Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Toronto, Buffalo, Montreal, Carolina. In the West, Nashville, Edmonton, San Jose, St. Louis, Los Angeles, Colorado, Calgary, and Chicago. Uh, granted, we still have 10 games left, so maybe Colorado could lose. Winnipeg, Arizona could win. Stuff like that. In the East, uh, really no difference here. I don't see it changing at all. Um, obviously these are not final, but, uh, Carolina, I think, will hold off. Columbus, Ottawa, uh, Boston is right there. I think they will replace maybe Montreal. Uh, that's really the only change I have in the West, or in the East, sorry. So, uh, player stats, how are the Panthers doing? Well, we have to go to points, and Joe Coburn is our points leader at 41 points, 18 goals, 23 assists. Then Jonathan Huberdeau. Thomas Vanek, and, or Alexander Barkov. That's twice now we messed up his name. And then past that, Jonathan Marshall and Yager. Uh, goal leaders. Who leads the goals for the Panthers? How about Coburn? 18, Barkov. 16, Vanek. 15, Yager. 14, Trocek. 11. And then assist leaders... It's Huberto, Colburn, Marshall, Yandel, Ekblad are tied at 21, and Zach Smith for 20th. Penalty minutes. Who has the most? Well, 
He's led in every category in the only so far. Joe Colborn, 53 penalty minutes. Then Aaron Ekblad at 42. Zach Smith at 40. And uh, Alex Petrovic at 36. And then Paul Thompson at 30. So, for the Florida Panthers, that is how that matches up. What about the entire NHL, though? Your point leader in the entire NHL, Sidney Crosby, Alex Ovechkin, John Tavares, Claude Giroux, Giroux sorry, and then Evgeny Malkin. 92, 84, 79, 78, and 76. Assist leaders go as follows. Nicholas Backstrom, Duncan Keith, Phil Kessel, Sidney Crosby, Chris Letang. Goal leaders, Ovechkin with 50, Five on the year. The only one above 45. Then Tavares, Carter, Tarasenko, and Malkin. With that said, penalty minutes. Who likes to fight in the NHL? How about Chris Thorburn for Anaheim? 125. Jordan Nolan for the Kings? 116. Mark Borowicki? 110. Ryan Reeves? For St. Louis at 104, and then Derek Dorsett for Vancouver at 90. So, league leaders, team leaders, how about some award leaders? So far, will the Pittsburgh Penguins go back to back to back? Well, we can only hope not. President's Trophy, most points, the Capitals are looking for a trifecta. Clarence S. Campbell Award. The Predators are looking to repeat in the West. And the Prince of Wales for the East. Obviously, if you've won the Stanley Cup, you're going to win the Prince of Wales Trophy. Penguins look for a 3 feet on that as well. Player Awards. Art Ross Trophy. Connor McDavid. Most points right now. Nowhere in the running. Hart Memorial. Again, nowhere in the running. Uh, obviously, performance helps a lot in this one. James Norris Memorial Trophy for the best defenseman. Brett Burns looking to repeat. Uh, Memorial Trophy Lady Bing. Lady Memorial Trophy. Johnny Goudreau looking to go back to back. Calder with Memorial. Austin Matthews looking to repeat as that as well. Crosby looking for a 3 P on Con Smythe. Vizina is Bobrovsky. He will go back-to-back -back if he does that. Holpe, back-to-back -back on William M. Jennings. Bill Masterson. Anderson for Ottawa. He will go back-to-back. -back. Frank Selk. Patrice Bergeron. He's won it three the last four years. We'll see if he can do it again. Ted Lindsley. Connor McDavid will go back-to-back. -back. And Crosby beating out Ovechkin over the last Four of the last five years. Uh, Ovechkin has owned this trophy, but Crosby looking to go back to back here as well. So with that said, that is the March update. Thank you guys for watching. We have two more games, maybe even one more, before the end of the year for Florida. Then we'll get into the offseason. It should be a lot of fun, and uh, we will see.